smells like Teen Spirit. Uh, were there uh, were there things that w were more obvious in that album th than others? Were there not not statements? I hate talking about statements, but uh, especially that first <laughs> sorry that first song, that first statement, that that, that first video. What? <laughs> Statement is like uh, yeah. Every month I get a bank statement, and I'm usually overdrawn. And uh, so we're not into making. Statements. I don't know. There's there's can be statements can be made anyway, anywhere. You know, there's a lot to be said for subtleties. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there's a lot to be said for being cryptic, also. Yeah. Cryptic. Yeah, mysterious. So you can just like because we just can't explain ourselves. We don't we don't consciously think about our music, so we can't explain it. Therefore, interviews are worthless. Let's go. <laughs> what do you think about interviews? <laughs> it's a pretty what good do magazine. I think? Really Did you hear big. my reaction when he asked me if I wanted to do one? Yeah. I said, F no. Yeah. I said, heck we were, no. We were an interview magazine right next to Shonen Knife. And you know who was on the co cover? Mm -hmm. Matt Dillon. Yeah, well, I, th that's funny because, I mean, uh, Cameron Crowe's doing a... No, but I mean, that's, it's funny you talk about... Uh, Cameron Crowe's doing a, a movie with Matt Dillon right, in Seattle, Seattle. Yes. and uh, there are many musicians, uh, mu Se uh, mu Seattle musicians in, uh, in, in that movie. Are you, are you part of it at all? No, no, no part whatsoever. Oh, we opted not to uh, delve in the in the uh, I saw movie Cotton Candy, industry. directed by Ron Howard. It was about this rock and roll band, and what what was the evil rock and roll band name? Uh, I don't know. Was that the one with Leif Garrett in it? Oh, that's Leif Garrett. One. Leif Garrett. I've seen all these rock and roll movies, and it's always, you know, the star. Is this either Leif Garrett in it or? There's never been a really good documentary on rock and roll Except bands. For Spinal Tap was the only for rock Tap. movie worth watching. Oh, and Don't Look Back by Bob Dylan. That's true. Have you seen that? No. Very, very good. Oh, it's a good movie. It's old, made in 1964. Good. Makes a fool out of Donovan. It's a rockumentary. So, I mean, uh, you, did, were, were, you, were you approached? Were you asked to, uh, no. to be part of that movie at all? No. anything. You know what I mean? Oh, no, they did ask us. Really? Yeah, they asked John. Oh, we said no. I, I said no before even asking you guys. Oh. That's because I'm the leader of the band. You blew my, right. you blew my chance, man. <laughs> I'm going to roll into Hollywood, I'm going to have a star on Hollywood Boulevard, and I'm going to have a big house with a swimming pool and all these cars, and I'm going to get divorces and stuff, and I'm going to have a big drug... Max Bear, Jethro on TV's uh, right. Bever <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies. Tell, well, tell me about that, uh, that, 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 no, that, that, Seattle, that Seattle thing everybody's been talking about. I mean, there's been that Manchester scene, there's that Seattle oh. scene now. I mean, is it any... is it... Is it relevant at all? Um, all scenes are relevant, but they all eventually phase into nothing, or you know, they they go go away after or they a while. They eventually you know? become a parody of themselves. Or, yeah, I mean, they eventually become people, a parody of themselves. People put too much emphasis on scenes. I mean, just because there happens to be a, a town with a few really good bands in it, I mean, big deal. It, it's happened all over the place in Minneapolis and L.A. and New York, all over the place. So it's, it's really no big deal. I don't understand this like community patriotism that everyone is is boasting about in Seattle because like th they're claiming that they finally put Seattle on the map, you know, but like what map? 